there is a problem uh, selecting or computing RTU in such a way. Uh, why? Because, uh, in fact, there are two problems here. There are two problems in calculating uh, retransmission timeout in this way. Okay. Problem number one is that an acknowledgement uh, is, is basically the receipt, receipt of data, not the receipt of transmission. So the problem is which packet do we need to associate uh, uh, with an acknowledgement? So the first problem is called acknowledgement ambiguity. First problem with the way uh, in this, if we calculate retransmission time out by simply multiplying two with this estimated RTT, the problem is, uh, there are two problems. The first problem is known as uh, acknowledgement ambiguity. And that we'll see with the help of an example in a minute. So there is an acknowledgement ambiguity. And what is this acknowledgement ambiguity? The acknowledgement ambiguity is that um, uh, which, uh, which packet, which packet to associate uh, with an acknowledgement, and especially this is true when we have a retransmission in case of uh, in, in, in case of retransmission, in the case of retransmission. So we really need to decide on that uh, which packet will be associated with an acknowledgement in case of uh, retransmission, right? And the, the second problem uh, in calculating RTU in such a way is, uh, is that this RTT or round trip times are uh, too wide. Round trip times uh, spread uh, is too wide. So, dear students, uh, let me reiterate uh, uh, the problems, right? I explain it to you again. So, up till now, we have learned that how we can normalize uh, the variation in RTT by calculating estimated RTT. Okay. But, and again, we can, the problem is to compute the retransmission time mark, which is greater than RTT. And uh, usually we can calculate retransmission time out by multiplying the estimated RTT uh, with two. But there are two problems that we, will, we need to first understand and we need to find a solutions. The, the first problem is acknowledgement and let's talk about let's try to understand the first problem and then we'll see what is uh, what is its solution right so the first problem is acknowledgement uh, ambiguity okay problem and the the problem with this acknowledgement in the case and the detail of this acknowledgement ambiguity is that uh, we have an original uh, you know, uh, uh, packet, and then we have a retransmitted packet. So, uh, so we need to understand it by with the help of two examples, and say the first case is uh, where we have this, uh, where we have this original, where we have this original packet, right? And we'll see how RTO can grow unbounded, right? So the problem here is. And if I associate it, associate it with the original packet, the RTO can grow unbounded. Okay, let's see how. So let's assume a scenario where we have a machine A sender, and then we have a machine B in this case. And uh, again, it's the timeline uh, increasing downwards. Okay, and uh, let's assume uh, that sender A has transmitted a segment, say segment zero, and segment zero has lost. Okay, and I assume uh, that this was the initial uh, RTO. Okay, so in uh,
so um, so this means uh, the retransmission timeout has expired and now this machine day will again uh, retransmit segment zero okay and uh, now uh, the receiver B in this case uh, receiver B in this case has uh, replied with an acknowledgement. Okay, and now see um, uh, what is this RTT now? Now this is the RTT, right? Okay, right, and it it sends um, segment number one, and let's assume segment number one has again lost. OK, and now based on the previous RTT, it recalculates it RTO. And let's assume the new pre-transmission timeout is this, which is obviously greater than the previous one. And it again retransmits segment number one. And let's assume segment number one has been received successfully. An acknowledgement has been generated asking for segment number two. And now, now in this case, the the uh, let's let's look at this uh, first of all. This you know, our our TT. Now we have even greater round trip time, and so will be the RTO. So you can clearly see that the retransmission timeout with every unsuccessful retransmission and unsuccessful transmission or with every retransmission is growing unbounded. Okay. Clear. And uh, the second uh, case is that uh, the second case here is. Uh, that retransmitted packets. Uh, so these were the, the, the this is the acknowledgement of equity problem in, in the case where we have uh, this original segment, uh, the packets transmitted, and, uh, and there's a loss here, and this can grow unbounded. And let's talk about the retransmitted uh, retransmitted packets. So the retransmitted packets, and this because of this acknowledgement uh, ambiguity, this might um, uh, you know shrinks the RTO. So the retransmission timeout shrinks in this case. Uh, so so let me uh, repeat the original uh, the problem with the original packet. Uh, in, where is the, this the, you know, acknowledgement ambiguity? So the ambiguity is this acknowledgement is either for this transmitted segment or it's retransmission. There's a problem. We're unable to associate this acknowledgement, right? Either with its retransmission or with this actual transmitted pro, uh, you know, uh, segment. So this was the segment zero originally transmitted, and this is the it's retransmission. So this acknowledgement that is giving me RTT is creating this ambiguity. Why? Because I'm unable to associate either uh, it with actual, actually transmitted segment or a retransmitted segment. Okay. So let's talk about the second case. Um, the problem with acknowledgement ambiguity that is associated with retransmitted packets. And in this case, um, RTO will shrink. Uh, let's see how. Let's again assume that we have a machine A and then we have a machine B here. And uh, this is the timeline increasing downwards. And uh, let's assume the sender A has transmitted a segment zero, right? And then again, it uh, uh, you know there is a delayed you know, acknowledgement. Acknowledgement was generated by machine B, but you know. The RTO has expired in this case. So this is the RTO. So what will happen in this case? A machine A will 
retransmit a segment number zero. Okay. Now, so what do you think? What is the next? Uh, you know, RTT. Either uh, the RTT is this one, or the RTT is this one, right? Now we are associating uh, acknowledgement with the retransmitted uh, packets. So, and in this case, uh, because this acknowledgement um, time between this retransmitted segment zero and this acknowledgement is short, so this will shrink. Uh, uh, this will shrink the uh, uh, retransmission time out. Oh, so next time it retransmits segment number one. And look at the waiting time. It is smaller. Why? Because it is calculated based on this retransmission um, uh, round trip time, which is for the retransmitted um, segment, number, uh, which is segment number zero in this case, right? So again, this will keep going on, right? And then again, will be you know, we we have this. Um, acknowledgement, but the it has expired. And next time, even this RT RT value is smaller. Okay, right. So because of this ambiguity, this acknowledgement ambiguity, either um, the RTO can grow unbounded if I'm associating this uh, acknowledgement with the original uh, packet, or uh, if I'm uh, associating this acknowledgement with this. A retransmit segment, the the retransmission timeout will shrink. So this means this means there is uh, this means there is a feedback there is a feedback loop between RTO computation and round trip time estimate. OK, so this is the problem number one. Right, that was uh, uh, acknowledgement ambiguity, right? Means which packet to associate with an acknowledgement in the case of a retransmission. So if uh, the acknowledgement is associated with, uh, uh, you know, actual original packet, uh, the RT, uh, the retransmission timeout can uh, grow unbounded, and uh, if uh, the acknowledgement is associated with uh, retransmitted segments, this, this will result in uh, shrinking of retransmission timeout. Okay, so this was the first problem. What is the second problem with uh, this RTTO, RTO calculation based on RTT? Uh, that is round trip time spread. Too wide. So the second problem is round trip time too wide. Um, so, um, so the second problem is RTT has uh, spread is too wide. And what do we mean by this? So the second problem is RTT's uh, spread is too wide. Uh, so if I, let's assume if I have this probability dis uh, distribution function and I have this plot representing uh, the different round, uh, round trip times and uh, let me assume that uh, here we have this uh, RTT mean value. And uh, here, here is the RTO that we are calculating, and we said this RTO is equal to S yes, to RTT. Okay, and so this means, uh, by the way, here we have probability distribution function, and here we have this. Uh, this x-axis represents the RTT samples. Okay, so this means um, all the RTTs or the packets with these RTTs uh, must be retransmitted. So all uh, the packets 
um, with these. RTDs uh, must be uh, retransmitted. Why? Because the retransmission timeout ends here. This means all the packets uh, after the retransmission timeout, which is two times the RTT, will be retransmitted. So this means um, uh, because this RTT spread. Um, uh, you know, do not take uh, variance into consideration, right? So we'll see in a minute what what is uh, is you know a solution. So let's talk about the solution of these two problems. So first, talk about the solution of acknowledgement ambiguity problem. Right, and the solution to acknowledgement ambiguity problem is Khan's algorithm. What Khan's algorithm says, very simple. It says um, adjust RTT estimate only from non-retransmitted samples. So remember, what was the problem in acknowledgement ambiguity? The problem was either we have to associate the acknowledgement with the originally transmitted. Uh, segment or with the retransmitted segments, right? So the solution is, according to Karn's algorithm, the solution is adjust RTT estimate um, only uh, only from uh, yes non retransmitted samples. OK, and but um, there is another consideration that we need to um, make here, right? That is, um, if we do not take into consideration the retransmission, this could lead to insensitivity to long delays. So the problem only considering this is, uh, however, however, uh, uh, ignoring retransmissions uh, could lead uh, could lead to. Insensitivity to long delays. And we have seen this in this example where we try to, you know, where we try to associate the acknowledgement with the original um, uh, packet. So in this case, the RTO, RTO was drawing unbounded. Okay. So we have to keep this into consideration. So this means how we will uh, you know, handle this uh, retransmissions then. So this means um, we, need to, we need to back off. We need to back off RTO. When? Upon a retransmission. So whenever there is a retransmission, we need to, we need to back off the RTO. Uh, RT or retransmission timeout. How we will back off uh, the retransmission timeout? It's very simple. So will the new in case whenever there is a retransmission, the new value of uh, retransmission timeout, retransmission timeout new is always equal to two into uh, retransmission timeout, previous value of retransmission timeout, and this is only the case when. Uh, we are having uh, retransmissions. Okay, 